Hello world, PDR coming at you here with an 89 Jaguar uh, XJS and it's got some uh, collision damage in the front. What we're going to do is see if we can make it look any better. Uh, basically, I want to get this little dent out right here and this little line out right here. If we were looking up at this top edge of this round, there's not too much I want to do for right up in here. I mean, obviously I can tap this little brow down a little bit. But this is original 30-year-old uh, paint, so we're going to want to take our time. I can't get it too warm right here because of this pinstripe, so I'm going to go on the low setting. Uh, it is nice and warm where I'm at, so uh, I'm just going to get it uh, a little bit warmer and take my time and just try to work this thing real slow. I've gained access on both sides, but... There's a secondary wall that comes through, so this side actually gives me the most uh, movement through it. I'll just try to find my tool here. And now I'm right in the middle of this big one right here. So I'm just gonna, I'm basically testing the metal to see how it's gonna move. Giving it some baby pushes and just seeing if it wants to move at all. And I think where I'm going to really start is pushing kind of almost behind this pinstripe line. So at this point in the video is when I say I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on the video. I really do. Uh, I'm going to try to, there's a body line underneath this pinstripe and I don't want to push the pinstripe out. I really just want to push that body line out. And this is uh, old paint. I think it's lacquer. I don't know if it is or not. Um, I don't want to get it super warm like I like I want to because of that pinstripe. And I'm kind of struggling on the angle here, so let me just do this. There we go. Now I can see a nice bright angle. And I can see right where I need to be. Kind of on the bottom edge down here. And I don't even know if I said the whole thing. I said the thing where I, I really appreciate everybody that clicks on this video. If you would hit the subscribe button, I would appreciate that too. We love to see the community grow. Um, That's weird. Every time I change angles, I basically lose my tip. I'm not uh, moving it in a different spot. I'm keeping it in the same spot, but it is very tough to see. Okay. There we go. So make sure that the stripe is not going to burn. My heater was a little bit misangled. I'm basically running this body line. This is a pretty severe dent guys. I want to make sure that I take it out slow. Um, because this paint does not take much at all to crack. This heavy duty thick uh, eight coats of lacquer. Jaguar puts in between eight and 12 coats on every car. They have a very nice paint job. So I'm gonna find myself again here. 
Now I'm right through the middle again. I'm gonna walk that tool back towards myself. Slowly work that line. And this part is probably super boring to watch because it's literally showing no movement. Um, so this is not your uh, quick dent repair by any means. I might spend three or four hours on this dent, but then, hey, in this short amount of time, I'm already starting to see some movement now. And it's, uh, who knows, the miracle might happen and this thing comes out in a half an hour. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to keep on working this little football one real slow. When I, when I get this out and I come back and start working on this front, I'll bring you guys back in with me and show you what we got. <laughs> I like to see progress. Okay, guys, I thought I'd bring you in for some more of this pushing. Just turned off the heat gun, and I'm just babying the center out. I'm right by that little scratch or that little chip. I'm right next to it. Tool slid a little bit. But taking my time and going real slow with this one. Now I'm up by the pinstripe, near the, uh, when I say front, I meant back, rear, towards me. But yeah, let's see how, how much we're getting out of it. Uh, some. At that point, I can change my angle a little bit and see some more of it. And it, I'll say this again, guys, it's really weird. Every time I'm looking at it this direction, tool is it's it's almost impossible to see my tool and then I spin my head around for some reason and look at it this direction and it's like night and day I can see everything so uh, it's a little tougher of a push but I'm gonna keep this direction because I like the visual Yeah, we'll just keep on working on this one a little bit more and we'll come back and show you what we got. Okay guys, I'm just finishing up this uh, football part. I wouldn't say finishing, but I'm getting to that point that it's starting to flatten out and get that body line back. Uh, taking my time with it real slow because I still see that there's this brow through the back brow through the front, and then up top, obviously, there's that little bit. I'm gonna try to get the visual on it that I've been going for. Oh, well, I can't get that visual sideways that way. I gotta go back. And it is getting a little bit cooled off, so I'm taking my time with the pushes real slow. I could probably heat up a little bit more. And I'm turning it on the lower setting on my heat gun for the specific reason of the pinstripe, guys. Because this pinstripe is uh, also factory and it's a kit. It's not an overlapping stripe. That's one piece of stripe that's cut like that. So um, I want to save that if possible. And too much heat on any pin stripe will just rub it right off. Little tip trick there for getting pin stripes off. Just get them warm. But so now I'm basically. Uh, in between the pinstripe and the body line and I'm making a series of little typewriteries uh, invisible ones and we're kind of coming back on through and just follow 
that line that I just did, but go right underneath it and go back out. Now that push I noticed, making some strong pushes through the middle here. And cleaning this little part right up. This is gonna come out looking real nice, guys. Um, yeah, and then I think I'll come from the other side to get to that this little guy and maybe even some of that up there because uh, I can get to it from the removal of the headlight in there. So not much commentary, not much of uh, how to, what to, but it's mostly a lot of work on this car and uh, a lot of baby in it, taking it real slow. That's the key to paintless dent repair, patience. And once again, I really want to thank all the people that have commented and left some awesome positive comments in the community. All the new subscribers. We love to see the community grow. So, I'd love to see this dent come out. Bring you guys back in a little bit when we're working on this part. Hey guys, we're back. I got a lot of that one out. Um, not all, but I wanted to come in the front up here and get some of this out and straighten out this little body line area before I do any tapping or go to the end of this little, the main part of the collision. So it's just a real slow pry. I've got some electrical tape on my tool here. It's giving me a little bit of a soft tip I'm gonna to have to order those R4R soft tips. I know they're gonna help out. And I'm kind of got a weird push coming up underneath the edge of this area. I can't get all the way up to the front, but I can get to about, about right there out. So, let's see. I'll show you as far as I can get with a push. I think I'm gonna to have to come around and make a push from the inside back angle it might even there we are there we are okay so that's as far as I can get to right there I'll show you with this tool right there is as far as I can get to so I'm gonna basically push this line out till I can bring it out um, and I just want to get it out without cracking anything so at this point in the videos when I say you know if you guys have uh, hit that subscribe button you can hit the notifications bell and you'll be notified every time I make a new video doesn't really do anything for me but it does something for you because then you get to your phone will ding every time I make a video so yeah I'm kind of in this little tight area down here and I'm I'm doing this weird pry where I'm prying that way and the tip is pushing up and out but I'm also being very careful to not push against this little uh, aluminum and copper piece that holds the light in. And just trying to get all the way up into there. For some reason it's stopping me right there. So a couple more little pushes through this front section. And it's actually coming out pretty nice. That was a pretty severe push. I might even grab Hammy and Tappy instantly when I make a severe push like that. Uh, where was it? It was just right. Oh, it wasn't that severe. But you guys hear how, how solid that sounds. It sounds like I'm tapping on a rock. And it feels like it too. Very little movement. Um, oh, that's where it was. It was right down here. Now I see it. And we're going to turn this back on. So I think at this point is when I'm going to um, say we're just going to do this as good as possible and come back and show you the end result on what we ended up with. Okay, guys, we are back and we are going for this last little bit. Um, there's a little bit more up here that I can get 
But before I do that, I wanted to straighten out this body line a little bit more. I'm coming through. Uh, this one's definitely not, you know, not going to be a hundred percent job, and the customer is well aware of that. Has already seen it. Already super happy. Um, but it's to the point that we want to get it so it's not so noticeable. And um, I know that right up here, I can't do too much for it. I can do a little bit more for down here. And then obviously a little bit of beating right through that high crest. But I'm coming through this body line uh, right here. And I'm looking into it. And it actually, I don't know if it got scratched or scraped and then buffed or whatever. But it got hit pretty hard. So we, uh, we might have to make a... A teeny little line of baby pushes along that edge that will not really be visible. I mean, they might be visible if you had a board on it or if you were, uh, you know, judging like a dent at the Dental Olympics. But uh, like I said, this was a collision damage and we're going to just do what we can to band-aid the situation, save them having to take a trip to the body shop. And... Let me grab my hammy tappy and show you what I'm talking about up here. Right where this thing ends, I don't want to tap right there because that's the body line. But up above this body line, there's this, this high brow that it looks like it's most tenacious right about here. And I just want to kind of break it down a little bit before I get into the front and work a little bit more of that out but honestly guys i think it's coming together pretty nice um i still see a little bit of brow back here and a little bit of brow underneath but um i'm gonna get it heated up one more time and work on it a little bit more through the center but i'm probably just gonna call the video right here because the difference between that thing being finished and this thing being the way it is now see if I can get some of that wax out of that pinstripe and show you what we're looking at. It's not going to be too much different. Yeah, I think I, th as far as what we're ended up with, I think we're ending up with about the same thing here. I might work a little bit more on these brows, but other than that, I'm just going to call this one uh, Band-Aid, Jaguar, Body Shop Fix, you know, keep them away from the Body Shop. Um, PDR on a collision. So sure, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I sure enjoyed making it for you. If you would hit that like, that'd be great. Uh, otherwise, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.